imagine when we were in, uh, in the caves, we are not sending job applications. We just did our own thing. So human beings are born to be go-getters, problem solvers. But somehow, our theoreticians thought that everybody has to go and work for somebody else. That's why we distorted the whole idea, distorted the human beings, the nature of human beings. We defied the nature of a human being, who is a problem solver. That's where social business comes in. We reinvent ourselves as a problem solver, not job seekers. So we tell the young people that we are not job seekers, we are job creators. So we have to get rid of those ideas of job, being job seekers. And how do we do that? So that's where, again, social business comes into the picture. In Bangladesh, what we do, we create a social business fund and ask all the young people, come up with any business idea. Start your own business. Don't look for a job. You're not a job seekers. You're job creators. So come up with a business idea, and the social business fund will invest in your business. It becomes your partner. And you go ahead and create your business. And as you become successful in your business, you return the money that social business fund gave you. And you don't have to give any profit out of your business. Keep your profit, but just, just give the money that they gave it to you. Since social business fund is a social business, they are not interested in your profit. They are only interested in solving your problems. Since now that they have solved your problems, return the money they gave you so that they can use it for somebody else, that's it. Now hundreds and hundreds of people, young people, come every day with their business plans. And Social Business Fund keeps on investing in it. So that removes the whole idea of being unemployed. Unemployment is, looks like somebody uh, from outside put a spell on a young person, a young, creative, enthusiastic, ready-to-go person. He cannot function because somebody put a spell on it. Why should the system should put a spell on a human being? Who gave them the right to put a spell on a human being? So that's the question social business asks. So social business has to ask questions. Why did it happen? Can we undo that? Can you remove that? Can you do things in a different way? And you start looking at it, and suddenly you discover it can be done. We were given wrong ideas, and we are rushing into wrong directions. Now we have to correct ourselves, discover ourselves as a full human being, not a distorted human being. A distorted human being becomes a selfish human being because our selflessness is kind of encouraged to be forgotten. So we rediscover ourselves as a selfish and a selfless person. Both coexist in us, but you use only one, didn't use the other one. So now we use both and see which one takes us which direction and which direction we like. We have a choice. In conventional business, there is no choice because you are all focused on making money. But once we introduce the social business, then you have a choice. You make a choice. Whether you want to do business to make money for yourself or you want to do business to solve problems of others and in the process, problems of everybody else. And we can combine both, run both businesses, whichever you wish. So that's the kind of thing that uh, social business can do.